It ain't easy being a JavaScript developer. Learning JavaScript is a lot like learning how to cook. And basically all programming is like learning how to cook, but JavaScript in particular. Now bear with me for a moment because what I wanna do is try to illustrate how coding and cooking are very similar. Let's say I wanna have spaghetti and meatballs. It's kind of like when you're creating your front end of a website, you use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. For spaghetti and meatballs, if I go that route, I'm gonna use spaghettis, tomatoes from my sauce, and then lean ground beef for my meatballs. Now that's 93% lean meat right there. And when you go this route, you can keep your ingredient list for your website lean. Now doing it that way will take longer, right? Because first I have to chop up all the ingredients for my sauce, I have to make my meatballs, I gotta season the meatballs, I gotta bring a pot of water to boil, put in the spaghettis, and then after a certain amount of time, combine it all together to create my spaghetti and meatballs. That could take about an hour. Or modern JavaScript development or modern development in general, I can go the easy way. I can just use one of these. This is spaghetti and meatballs in a can. Now, taking a look at the back, that ingredient list is huge. It's a long list of ingredients there. Some of them I can't even pronounce. And that kind of reminds me of my node modules folder. Have you ever taken a look inside of that? You'll see that there's a whole list of files and folders of different dependencies and packages that you probably never even heard of. So to build a front end of your site, you could either do it from scratch and spend a long time doing that, or you could use libraries, frameworks, and build tools to get the job done faster. But now that's the thing. A lot of people take the shortcut first, especially when learning, by not learning the fundamentals, not understanding the basics of JavaScript. And it's like cooking. Sure, you can heat up the food inside of a can and you're gonna get your calories, you're gonna get your meal, but do you really know how to cook? Now this is where we start talking about JavaScript burnout and fatigue. And I like to joke around and say that there seems to be more JavaScript libraries, frameworks, package managers, build tools than there are stars in the sky. And every day a new one comes out, a new JavaScript library or framework comes out into the market. And this is what people often think, what's brand new is shiny, what shiny is better, but that's ultimately what leads to JavaScript burnout and fatigue. Now don't get me wrong, learning JavaScript is probably one of the best things you could do for your career as a developer. And that's cause JavaScript can be used pretty much everywhere. You could use it for front end design and development. You could use it on the server with Node.js. You could use it to build desktop applications with Electron. You could use React Native to build iOS or Android apps. It seems like JavaScript literally has no limits on what you could use it for. But that's where the pain point comes in because if you're learning how to code with JavaScript and you already have the fundamentals and the basics down packed, the next step is what other tools are you going to learn? Are you gonna learn a framework? Are you gonna learn a library? Which one do you choose? And obviously you're gonna choose the library or framework that fits the type of application or program you're working on. Seems pretty simple. And that brings me back to when I first learned JavaScript. I first learned the fundamentals and the basics, but then after that, I wanted to learn how to automate some of my workflow. I was working on bigger projects and I needed to find a way to streamline my workflow. So what I did was I spent a good amount of time learning how to use Grunt. And for a while, Grunt served me very well. But then in JavaScript land, there was a new kid on the block. Gulp came around. So I decided, hey, let me learn Gulp. I spent a significant amount of time transitioning my workflow from Grunt to Gulp. Now today, some people might say, don't use Gulp, use Webpack, or maybe use NPM scripts. Or what about Yarn, or maybe Vite? And that's the point right there. There's always another project. There's always another tool that comes onto the scene that grabs the attention of developers. And then beyond that part, maybe you learn jQuery, but then you realize that maybe you don't need jQuery anymore. And then you decide to take a look at React, or maybe you look at Vue, or maybe Angular. And by the time you know it, you're spending more time learning how to work with these package managers, these libraries and frameworks, than you are actually coding your big project. I mean, it can be exhausting. You can spend so much time learning the fundamentals. Then you spend more time on top of that, learning that particular framework. And then you spend even more time learning about the library that you're gonna be using in your project only to find out that the place you're gonna be working at or the project you're gonna be working on requires you to use something totally different. It ain't easy being a JavaScript developer. 
fatigue and burnout is real. So what can you do about it? Like learning how to cook, learn the fundamentals of code, learn the fundamentals of JavaScript, build out small applications with vanilla JS, really get a solid understanding of how to use JavaScript within your workflow. The benefit there is that it really doesn't matter what library or framework or build tool comes out. You'll know the fundamentals and that'll make it much easier to learn how to use the different libraries and frameworks. And if you have to pivot at any point, the amount of time to transition will be significantly less. Now, who stresses the most when there's a new library or framework that comes out for JavaScript? It's a junior developer. The senior developer doesn't really care. They continue using the tools that they use. And then when the time comes, they'll learn the new framework or library, but they'll do it at a faster pace because they understand the fundamentals of JavaScript. So in essence, don't get burnt out, don't get fatigued, learn the fundamentals and have fun with it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.